<laughs> Thanks for agreeing to meet me today, Cousin John. Hey, you did say you had some information about Little John. Oh, yeah, about that. Listen, Plow, if you drag me over here to beg for your job back, I haven't got time for it. I gotta get the No, pizza. no, no. Calm down, calm down, Cousin John. You're gonna wanna hear this. Well, you thought wrong. All I'm interested right now is getting my son back. <laughs> yeah, and I need a new career. So, uh, what's with all the bird cages? You gonna start your own pet shop? Don't worry about that. But I do have a few questions for you about exotic birds. What, do I look like a bird expert? Well, I don't know. You raise chickens and... Rumor has it that uh, you spent some time down in South America. What's your point, Plow? That you came back from South America after only a few short years with $100,000 in cash. Hey, well, what can I say? I worked hard and I invested well. What of it? I, I don't think so, Cousin John. In fact, I've done a little more research on you and I've tracked down some of your former inventory. What in the blue blazes are you talking about, Plow? Inventory? Say hello to your old friend, Pepe. Now wait a cotton picking minute. Yeah, you might want to reconsider firing me, Cousin John. Holly, a, a Pepe want a cracker? Will Elmer get his job back with the help of his fine feathered friend? Or will Cousin John tell Elmer what to do with his uh, parrot? Find out next time on As the Corn Grows!